We made it through Wednesday. Yes. Let's get a look at where all the markets closed today. So it wasn't a lot of movement, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, the S&P uh, was basically up by just one-tenth of one percent. You did have the cyclical sectors, though, in charge of that rally. The 10-year yield eventually went nowhere, but it was really interesting to hear the conversation now about five percent. Uh, the five-year yield, for example, has some positioning on to go to four and a half percent by Friday. So the upward pressure definitely there within the bond market. Interestingly, higher yields did not translate into a higher dollar. The Bloomberg dollar index down three tenths of one percent and crude continues to outperform here up half a percent you had s p energy index one of the best performing sectors within the s p scarlet all right so let's take a look at two uh, or a couple of the big movers on the day we're going to start with ge general electric it was the best performer in the s p 500 gaining almost seven percent on the day this is actually the slimmed down version of ge after it spun off its wind turbine and electric business so all that is left here is really the jet engine business and it is up again almost seven percent Ulta Beauty, the big loser here, losing 15% uh, pretty much at session lows, falling to a four-month low as well. This is after the company said that sales this quarter, or I, I should say this quarter has started off fairly slowly, and it's seen broad-based decline across different categories. That has uh, put a drag on other companies in its space, including Elf Beauty, the cosmetics retailer, and also Estee Lauder. Not exact comparisons, but again, in that same cosmetics space. But we want to go back to our top story of the day, of course, and this is Disney. Disney shareholders have spoken, and they've made clear that they are on Team Iger. All of the company's picks for the board were elected as companies, or I should say as investors, rejected Nelson Peltz's bid to put his stamp on Disney's business and succession strategy.